for the Big Story Special Report. Has Hollywood gone mad and crazy? We've got the Dixie Chicks cursing out President Bush on film, Sean Penn calling the president Beelzebub, plus an American company buys Death of a President, a British film where President Bush gets assassinated, the platform for all of this, a Toronto Film Festival. Should we blame Canada? With me now live from Canada, Toronto Sun columnist Rachel Marsden, and also here, Fox Entertainment correspondent Bill McCuddy. So, Rachel, uh, maybe you could tell me first, what is going on up there with this uh, Let's All Hate George Bush Film Festival in Toronto? Well, it's just Hollywood being Hollywood. It's just that the idiot tour has come north. But you can't really blame Canada for you guys sending us your idiots for a few days. Um, the way I see it is, hey, if they want to make fools themselves uh, by my watch, they have another seven days to do it. Keep on going because the average Canadian, just like your average American, is pretty fair-minded and is uh, not going to think too highly of any of this stuff. So I say they have another week left of... Uh, digging their own graves, so keep on going. All right, well, it's, uh, Bill, she's right. It, it is uh, American tour, Hollywood tourists up there. Well, not all the, uh, all, I'm proud to say not all the idiots are Americans. We have uh, the death of a president coming from, Brits. Uh, from, coming from the Brits, but then an American company decided to pick it up the other day. We've been talking about this film for uh, a week or so. A lot of people are outraged by it, and I'm wondering if anyone's actually going to go to a theater and see it. But the truth is, New Market Films, which has uh, been with some other controversials, including uh, Mel Gibson's uh, little, little movie called The Passion, The Gospel According to Mel, uh, so they understand how to market, let's call it, difficult to sell motion pictures. Uh, I don't want to well, get rid of, go off that one entirely, but Rachel, I, I have to look at this. Uh, let me put this thing on the screen. Here's a list of the uh, offenders up there right at the moment. First, the Dixie Chicks, and of course they told... Uh, President Bush, to, uh, they call him a dumb bleep. Uh, Sean Penn called him uh, an evil devil, or, or dumb devil. Mm -hmm. Oliver Stone's thinking about doing a 9-11 conspiracy movie, and then, of course, Death of a Stunner. Yeah. Well, you know, we're trying up here. I can, I can tell you for sure that um, the provincial government of Ontario is actually, right now, considering ticketing, fining Sean Penn for, of all things, lighting up a cigarette in a public place inside a hotel. We are not allowed to smoke in the province of Ontario, so, you know, we might get a little jab in at him that way. But, um, other than that, I mean, like I said, it's just Hollywood. How about the Dixie Hollywood. Chicks? Aren't they getting the standing O when they, when they tell the uh, president to bleep off? Well, they have, uh, during their last tour, I understand they ended up canceling some dates in the U.S. and adding more in Canada because of their popularity up here. Um, definitely, for some reason, I, I guess uh, their anti-American rants uh, don't seem to phase as many Canadians as they do Americans. But then again, we're, we're not Americans up here. So it's understandable the more Americans would be offended by that. But they're, I mean, I think most Canadians realize that it's just Hollywood being Hollywood and it's a film festival and it's, like I said, they just all hop on the idiot bus and tool around for a few months. So we just have to put up with that. That's kind of the way they are. Bill, uh, Oliver Stone, I mean, he behaved himself for World Trade Center. Right. But now he's going to... We're all stunned. And we're all stunned. Now he's going to get into the 9-11 truth movement well, and the conspiracy his, again, theory. Again, his version of the truth. He's saying that... Uh, Perhaps this administration was trying to stoke the fear fire and use 9-11 as a device to get uh, the war on terror amped up. He was in Moscow, of all places, doing the Oliver Stone conspiracy tour. This is a guy who, when his pizza is five minutes late, thinks the CIA and the John Birch Society are involved. So we'll see what, uh, what he can cook up for this. But he has no script, no distributor. He's basically just talking at this point about doing another motion picture. And that's what you do when you've come off uh, a moderately successful the last film, you start to say, what's my next project? People are asking him and they're saying, why aren't you going to be the good old Oliver Stone? So he's obliging. Rachel, uh, I'm going to go back to Death of a President, which uh, Bill was talking about earlier. How are the Canadians receiving this where, you know, a living, serving, sitting president is assassinated in a movie? Well, Canadians are generally pretty polite people, and I don't think anyone would consider it too polite to shoot a guy um, that you disagree with. That's not exactly the Canadian way. So I don't think it would go over too well up here um, amongst uh, the more sane Canadians. But um, I'm really wondering how well that movie is going to do at the box office, because the, um, for all the weirdos out there who actually want to see this Bush snuff fantasy, um, the clip is already out there on the Internet, that particular 
seen. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see if uh, what kind of money that actually makes at the box office, given that, that the key scene that everybody's buzzing about is already out there. I'm told that it's actually very slipshod and that the whole thing is done in kind of a way that suggests that not much money was spent and, and it really is just about being sensational than being a good Yeah, but it's picture. about attitude. It's oh, about an on. attitude. I mean, Absolutely. I mean, the, Brits, the, the director of this was shocked that people would be shocked over it. Uh, evidently, where he comes from and the discussions that he engages in, this is a normal sort of discussion. Uh, it, well, would you shoot President Bush? Of course you would. And, and show and, it. And, and, and make it. it like a PSA for every well, uh, public service announcement for every radical the group British, in the world. The British people are pretty right-wing. I mean, this is, this is a people that considers Tony Blair uh, to be left. And, I mean, he's the lefty up there, and um, he's pretty much on par with George W. Bush's politics. So the people of Great Britain are not exactly loony left, but I think, again, you have the filmmaking community and uh, the BBC. Sure dealing with the same type of thing there. <laughs> yeah, the BBC, that says it all, doesn't it? Rachel Marson up in Canada and Bill McCuddy, thank you both. Sure.